Hi, I'm Marcos Grappeggio, a product manager with Google Cloud. And today I'm going to share how you can secure your development environments and overall software supply chain with the Google Cloud Software Delivery Shield products, along with two recently introduced products in general availability, Cloud Workstations and Assured Open Source Software. Let's start with an overview of Software Delivery Shield before we do our deep dives in Cloud Workstations and Assured Open Source Software. But first, what is a software supply chain? Most software products are made up of the source code the organization directly writes and third-party software in the form of dependencies. A build process then combines the sources and outputs package software, which in turn can be run directly by your organization or consumed by other parties. The dependencies used can be either open source or commercial products. But in either case, that software will have contributors, a software development lifecycle process of its own, and its own third-party dependencies. As you can see, this constitutes a software supply chain, where it can be a consumer, a supplier, or both. So now, there are various attack vectors for software supply chains, ways in which someone can intentionally or accidentally compromise your software. Here you can see the wide range of categories of attack vectors from source threats, like writing insecure code or any dependencies with known vulnerabilities, such as, for example, another version of the log4j library, to build threats, all the way to deployment and runtime threats, such as a compromised continuous deployment process introducing unwanted changes. There are many attack vectors. A holistic solution is required. It only takes one unsecured link to breach the software supply chain. Software Delivery Shield was built from the ground up with the need of a comprehensive software supply chain security in mind. As you can see here, it covers the key source threats. For development, it enables shifting security left with secure cloud-based IDs powered by cloud workstations, data extraction prevention mechanisms via Beyond Corp Enterprise, and dependency vulnerability detection as code is being written. For software supply, it provides a portfolio of assured open source software packages and vulnerability scanning, including transitive dependencies. For CI and CD, it enables your organization to have build provenance and to generate software bill of materials. And finally, for runtime, it supports analysis for misconfigurations and continuous scanning of vulnerabilities for running services. Let's now talk about supply security. Assured open source software is now available in GA, allowing your organization to improve their software supply chain security by incorporating the same trusted open source packages that Google uses internally to your workflows. This means increased confidence in your software security with enriched metadata around known vulnerabilities, continuous vulnerability scanning, as well as a dedicated patching team that works hand in hand with the community for remediating issues. Let's now shift to development environment security. We've recently announced the general availability of cloud workstations, a new product built to support the day-to-day -day development needs of large and small development teams. It provides customizable development environments available in seconds, anywhere, and from a browser. All of this is done in a reproducible way, addressing the typical works on my machine kind of problems your developers may have. It allows you to run code against your real services, preventing the issues associated with emulation. Finally, it has a series of built-in security mechanisms to help you strengthen your security posture. You can see some of the new capabilities uh, available we'll be covering today. 
But before I start our deep dive, let me talk about the main challenges we've heard from our customers that guided the design of cloud workstations. First, getting a developer started on a project takes too long or in a new team, especially getting a development environment set up. And this became even more complex with the recent increase in remote work. Next, multiple developer in-loop friction points, such as accessing private resources, slow builds or slow downloads or uploads are simplified once you move your development environment to the cloud. And finally, it is challenging to secure local devices and the data stored in it. The moment you have data stored on local machines, you are bound to increase your attack surface. Let me now show you how Cloud Workstations addresses these challenges. First, first development environment setup. This video shows an example of how you can get an environment up and running in a few minutes. You are here creating a development environment following a workstation configuration. Once you create one configuration, it can be reused as a template for other cloud workstations and shared among developers and development teams ensuring consistency. Each developer gets their own VM, which starts fast because you keep a pool of warm VMs pre-configured and ready to go on standby. This, however, is much more than just a code editor and a VM. Developers and platform teams can also preload a code repo, libraries, dependencies, and ID extensions. In this case, we have a development environment for Java with code samples, JDK, and ID extension pre-configured. Next. To allow developers to accelerate machine learning and data processing tasks, Cloud Workstations now supports GPU acceleration in public preview, including a wide range of uh, platforms such as NVIDIA A100 and T4 GPUs. This allows developers and data scientists to benefit from GPU acceleration on their preferred data science platform, be it JupyterLab, Visual Studio Code, or PyCharm. Next, extended region support. We're excited to hear the interest of developers across the globe on cloud workstations. And to address our, those requests, we've now extended our support to 17 locations across three continents, including new locations such as India, Japan, France, Switzerland, and North Virginia. This will allow you to host your cloud workstations closer to your staging and production resources. Let's now switch to developer productivity. Multiple professional R users and data science teams prefer POSIT Workbench as their data analysis and integrated development experience, providing an integrated end-to-end -end developer solution that maximizes their productivity. And to better serve this community, we've partnered with POSIT, who now provides managed POSIT workbench with RStudio Pro IDs in Cloud Workstations, in public preview, with support for customers to bring their own existing licenses. POSIT workbench is available immediately as part of the Cloud Workstations GA. We then welcome POSIT, Workbench, and RStudio to our family of supported managed IDs. As a reminder, to all developers to benefit from remote development without changing workflow, we've built Cloud Workstations to have multi-ID support. And we currently have around 10 supported IDs, such as IntelliJ, PyCharm, RubyMine, Rider, or VS Code, with more IDs, such as JetBrains Fleet, in the works. Next, beyond browser-based IDs, Cloud Workstations also supports other common development interfaces. First, as you can see here, you can use your own local JetBrains IDs via JetBrains gateways. But if you prefer to use local Visual Studio Code, you can access your workstations for remote development via SSH. For more advanced use cases, you can also set up SSH and even TCP tunnels 
from uh, GeoX stations from your local uh, machine. Finally, I want to talk about the security and data extraction prevention capabilities of CloudWorks stations, which ensure organizations can provide the security guardrails they need. To enable a zero trust security posture on your development environments, we've now integrated Beyond Corp Enterprise with CloudWorks stations, enabling data protection capabilities that detect and prevent code exfiltration on download, save, copy, and paste events. As you can see in this short demo, this provides one additional layer of defense against exfiltration threats. In addition, we've also introduced support for context-aware access policies, allowing you to create access policies based on attributes, such as device security status, location, IP address, and many more. In addition to the endpoint security enabled by Beyond Corp Enterprise, all workstation resources can be created inside of your shared VPC network and can access your private environment with VPC service controls integration. This means you can enforce the same policies used for your production services to workstations and development environments, such as automatic disk backups or limit access sensitive resources or user action logging. All access to cloud workstations is controlled by IEM and you can also enforce a fully private ingress and egress gateway. So only users inside of your private network can access your workstations if needed. Cloud workstations also makes it easy to centrally manage environment configurations. In addition to the Google Cloud Console and the workstation API interfaces, platform teams can now also use the Google Cloud CLI and Terraform providers to manage the workstations similarly to how they manage their broader infrastructure as code. You can also seamlessly update those environments so that if you patch your workstation configuration today, by tomorrow morning, all the workstations of your developers will be updated. One last thing, DevOps tooling support. You may have a variety of tried and test tools you use and prefer. This could include tools such as Google Cloud Build, but also third-party tools such as GitLab or TeamCity. Correct Stations also supports accessing tools that can be self-hosted, on-prem, or in other clouds, so that you don't have to modify none of your DevOps or production workflows to incorporate that to your uh, setup. And that's it for today. So to recap, Today, you saw that CloudWorks Stations allows your organization to increase developer security and productivity. That assured open source software allows you to increase the security of your dependencies. And that Software Delivery Shield provides a comprehensive, holistic solution for securing your software supply chain. You can then learn more about them by visiting cloud.google.com slash workstations or cloud.google.com slash assured-open-source-software. And thank you.